Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Zelda Deluxe. I am your host, Melee Wizard, and last time we got through the first dungeon. Now it's off to take on the second and probably the third. I could probably explore for other things, but might as well take out some of the known quantities first. And sh there was one shop that I've been wanting to stop by just to see what was in it. And okay, P hats getting replaced. I am all for it. <laughs> and sh do I want? Yeah, I'll probably stop by the ferry too, just to. Never mind. Uh, and of course, there's the warp spot there. And I'm. I know that there was another uh, rock wall that you can only get by with the uh, super bomb over near the graveyard warp point. And I figured as much, but I had to be sure. Um, and I am not sure if I could even get to the power bracelet. I'll have to experiment with that later on. So I, I'm. Or at least get to it without needing the ladder first, anyway. Whew, <laughs> I like having shots like that. And so it also makes me wonder where the blue candle is, since I can't seem to get that. And Hello, what is this? The blue candle is said to be up this way. Okay, that's convenient. And... Okay, so the arrow is not as useless as it often seems. There we go. So, level two, the moon. Yeah, this looks familiar, and seeing spike traps in level two is not so familiar. So what, what kind of monstrosities do we have here? And, I'll, wait, and wall masters. Great. Oh well, at least I know. And stronger ropes. Lovely. At least I have the boomerang if need be. And I'm curious to see if there's any any hidden stuff around here. Doesn't look like it so far. And Garai is in here! Okay, so I should be expecting different enemy sets throughout this whole darn thing. Good to know. So I have two keys, and I'm probably gonna end up using them both just for completion's sake. And stay away from the walls. <laughs> well, at least I'm at full back to full health again. And wallmasters that took two hits with the white sword. Uh, okay. Just I'm being paranoid. There's nothing wrong with that when it when it comes to Zelda. <laughs> Oh, what do we have here? The blue candle! Okay! See, if that guy hadn't given me that hint, I probably would never have thought to check for that. And... Just checking to make sure whether it used magic or not, which it does. Oh boy. Huh? Let's go get the compass, then. Ah! Of course the rope has to spawn right in front of me. There. And I probably could bomb my way up, but I so, some tells me I might want this relative safety of the open doorway. And ooh, and blue Garias. Hello there, friends. How are you doing? I don't think there's anything else in here, but I want to be sure. All right then. So 
So now that I have the blue candle, I, there's another heart piece that I can get. And, oh, oh, this is the map room. Never mind. I'm getting my rooms mixed up, just like how I was getting my quests mixed up last time. And, yep, it's the same as it ever was. So, was this the one with the moldrums in it? The room? No, it was the next room. I, I knew that was going to happen, too. And, please give me hearts. Drat you. Give me hearts, please. Thank you. I probably could have bought a potion, but I didn't because I didn't think of it. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Taking these half-step techniques to their fullest extent. <laughs> ah. And all this for the magical boomerang. Oh well. It's an item. Anything else in here? No. And here's the mo the the Dongo room. Never mind. And I'm at half speed. And well, at least that works. And I have the boss key. Well, that's good. Oh no, these are the guys that throw their swords, aren't they? Well, they haven't yet. I guess they're just stronger versions of them. And all that for one arrow. Okay. That was kind of pointless. Unless I'm going to be facing off a Goma at the end of this thing, which I'm actually am convinced that I am now. Some tells me I might be facing Gomas quite a bit. There we go. So what do we got here? A whole bunch of things. And just thankfully the Garayas don't have the same... Ooh! Clock! Thank you! <laughs> I love clocks. So what do you have to tell me? Ooh. Why, thank you! I wonder how much I can carry now. I'm gonna guess 16? Yeah, also, it kind of makes me glad that I didn't spend all my money right away. Uh, I'm gonna guess there's Wallmasters in here. No? There are bubbles! Arguably better, arguably worse. Uh, What? Oh yeah, I'm facing a Goma. At least one Goma. Uh, and my quiver maxes out at 8. I thought so, but I had to be sure. Aha! And it's significantly stronger! Lovely. Okay, how many hits are you gonna take? Three hits and ooh, a twenty drop. Thank you for being so generous. So yeah, how's that for increase in difficulty, huh? But thankfully everything went well, which makes me really nervous about what to find in level three. But at least now that I have the blue candle. I can go pay a visit to that next heart container. And after that, I'm really not sure. But actually, I'm going to showcase one little extra feature of Zelda Classic. And that is... Yeah. The mirror part of Hyrule. 
there is a whole separate version of Hyrule in this in this series of quests. And how do you get through them? Get to the mirror part of Hyrule? By using the four warp spots that everyone who's familiar with this game knows about and probably abuses very, very much. But, surprise! You don't- they're not warps to other parts of the world, they're warps to a whole other world entirely that is very, very dangerous that I am not going to be going there for a good while yet because I feel like living, darn it. I would say the enemies are probably maybe twice as strong as in as their normal counterparts, and that's kind of saying something at this point. Uh... So now that that little revelation is out of the way, let's... Oh! Didn't expect to see you guys! At least not in this little neck of the woods. Oh, you suck. I was expecting a full heart piece. A full heart container, rather. Oh well. Live and learn, I guess. I'd... So this is where all those pea hats went. So what do you got? Uh, well... <laughs> and got pea hats blocking my way. So is my bomb count going to max out at 12 or 16? I'm kind of curious to find out at this point. Get my arrows back and get some more money, that's never a bad thing, right? Um, I wonder, what do you have to tell me? Oh. Arrows. Well, that's good to know. Uh, do I want to... You know what? If level 2 is gonna be like that, I'm buying a potion for level 3. <laughs> Just because I I don't want to die. I'm sure you guys can sympathize with that. Um, let's see, was there something in here? No, there was not. Okay, but there was something in there, <laughs> and that pretty much means I cannot do these dungeons out of order because I need whatever's in here which is most likely the raft, to get to level 4 and... Oh god, skip those! That don't do as much damage as I remember them doing. And I'm taking that as a blessing. Because they usually do two hearts of damage. Oh, there's a key. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, uh, makes me wonder where the other two heart. Uh, there's. Stupid bunny rabbits! Oh dear me. I am going to suffer a horrible, horrible death. Rather soon, if this is the kind of thing I'm gonna have to deal with now. Taking my enemy's invincibility frames for my own benefit. And I could use arrows, but darn it, I don't have that many. <laughs> eh. Okay, that's another one down. Whew, okay. And darn it, I needed that key. So, dark nuts, I presume? Yes. Twice as many as usual. But the thing is, dark nuts I can deal with. And I know I've got more than my... I'm convinced my maximum bomb capacity is at 16 now. And... Oh dear. All of these tricks that I might have been using against dark nuts in previous quests, I don't know how useful they're going to be now. Especially since I don't have... Since I, uh, don't have... 
like 16 hearts and a red uh, and like the gold ring to help deal with the damage or a level 4 sword for that matter uh, okay so okay that's one bat out of the way I think the wasn't the compass in here yay <laughs> I have sword beams again. That's another thing, having to get used to not having sword beams all the time. Okay. Well, time to go after the raft, I guess. And a whole bunch of other things. Well, at least I know that trick still works. And not just against the dark nuts either. Oh dear. I am I am afraid of what else this quest has in store for me now. Thing is, if I actually remembered what it all was, I'd probably be more worried. Uh there we go. And okay, there we go. <laughs> so hello raft. So, dark nuts and freaking bats. Okay. Oh, come on. Alright, so that's that out of the way. And my max is now at 16. Alright. Is that a bigger rupee bag? I believe it is. Ooh. Okay. So now I have that. So where's the raft? Uh, no, that's had the compass in it. And huh. very interesting. That means I could go get that hammer. And... Sh Dang. Stupid statues. I hate you. So what do we have here? Probably wall masters. Or not. Of course you're not giving me dank Zolls or gels or whichever ones they were. I'm not be letting me grind for money off of you. If you guys even have the same drops as before. Ah. So now I'm wondering if the man handler is still here. That would be very interesting. And what do you have to tell me? Arrow upgrade that I cannot afford just yet. I'll probably off screen that. Uh Land Molas and I'm stuck in here. Lovely. At least it's not one of the blue ones. Otherwise. I'd probably be really dead. And hey, clock! Thank you, and a boss key. Okay. Wasn't completely expecting that, because I figured if I had the boss key, then there wouldn't be another item in here. But hey, I got the raft. That works. Give me money! Darn you. Uh, yeah, and I kind of have a... a habit of killing all those bats every time I pass through those... those rooms. Sorry, can't afford it. I'll get one later. So... 
I'm thinking after this video, I will probably go get the hammer, grab that extra, uh, grab the arrow upgrade, and along the way, I'll probably find out, maybe get the blue ring too if I'm grinding for stuff like that. And along the way, I'll probably find out exactly how much money I can actually carry at this point. So if I, because this is the kind of thing I'm having to deal with now, I want that blue ring. Uh, alrighty. So what do you have in store for me? Stuff. Lots of stuff, and I didn't even realize you were bunny rabbits. I thought you were more darkness for some reason. I was so focused on the ones that were right in front of me. Well, at least I know I can take out the bunny rabbits with my sword consistently. So, there are manhandlers. Or a manhandler, anyway. One shot! Dang it. Come on! Die, you! Thank you, and another 20 drop. Uh, you know what? Like I said, I'll get that off screen. I need this. I need to get this Triforce now. So, whew. frankly, that took a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, so that's two more dungeons down. Five more to go, oh boy. Uh, so, join me next time where I get go get stuff and head off to level four. So until then, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.